Apple is a multinational technology company that was founded in 1976 by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. The company is known for its innovative and cutting-edge products, such as the iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple Watch. Apple has become one of the world's most valuable companies and has had a significant impact on the technology industry and popular culture. But in the mid-1980s, Apple was facing tough times. By 1985, Jobs had left the company to start his own venture, Next. After Jobs left, Apple started to decline, and it seemed like the company was on its last legs. But Jobs was already working on the Next operating system, which he believed would be a game-changer. Meanwhile, Apple was struggling to find a new operating system to replace its aging software. Apple's board of directors eventually decided to choose Next's operating system as the basis for its next-generation software. Jobs didn't want to return to Apple initially because he was busy with his other venture, Pixar. But eventually, he agreed to come back as an advisor. Jobs saw the potential in Apple and soon realized that he needed to take a more active role in the company. He eventually became the CEO of Apple in 1997, and under his leadership, the company turned its fortunes around. Important move that Jobs made was to secure a $150 million investment from Microsoft. This helped Apple to stabilize its finances and allowed it to focus on creating new products. The trillion dollar question is what Steve Jobs changed within a company which made it most valuable company in the world. Restructuring the company. Upon his return, Steve Jobs immediately began restructuring the company, cutting costs and streamlining operations. He eliminated non-core businesses, such as printers and servers, and focused on Apple's core business of creating innovative and user-friendly computer and consumer electronics products. Change in vision for Apple as a company and working culture. Jobs was known for being a demanding and sometimes difficult boss, but he also had a clear and inspiring vision for what he wanted Apple to achieve. Jobs believed in creating products that were not only innovative and functional but also beautiful and user-friendly. He wanted Apple to be known for its design excellence and attention to detail, and he pushed his team to constantly improve and iterate on their products. To foster this culture of innovation and creativity, Jobs created a working environment that was both challenging and supportive. He encouraged his team to take risks and think outside the box, but he also provided them with the resources and support they needed to succeed. At Apple, Jobs emphasized the importance of collaboration and teamwork. He believed that great ideas came from working together and bouncing ideas off each other, and he created a culture that encouraged open communication and feedback. One of the ways that Jobs fostered collaboration at Apple was through his famous design reviews, these were meetings where designers and engineers would come together to present their work and get feedback from Jobs and other key stakeholders. These reviews were often intense and challenging, but they also helped to ensure that every product was the best it could be. Marketing and Branding Steve Jobs was also known for his keen sense of marketing and branding, and he was instrumental in creating the iconic Apple brand that is recognized around the world today. He understood the importance of creating products that not only functioned well, but also looked and felt great. He also focused on creating a unique and memorable brand image, using simple yet powerful marketing campaigns that emphasized the company's focus on innovation and design. Focus on customer experience. Another key element of Steve Jobs' strategy at Apple was his focus on creating a seamless and enjoyable customer experience. He believed that every interaction between the customer and the company should be a positive one, and he worked hard to create a culture of customer centricity within Apple. This focus on customer experience helped to build customer loyalty and establish Apple as a leader in customer satisfaction. Financial success. Steve Jobs' strategy at Apple was highly successful in terms of financial performance. During his tenure as CEO, Apple's revenue grew from $7.1 billion to $108 billion, and the company's market capitalization increased from $2 billion to $600 billion. This financial success was a result of Jobs' focus on innovation, customer experience, and strong branding. In summary, Steve Jobs' comeback as Apple CEO was a major turning point for the company. His focus on product innovation, marketing and branding. 
customer experience, and financial success helped to establish Apple as one of the most successful companies in the tech industry. His legacy continues to influence the company and the industry today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it valuable, please consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about our latest uploads and updates. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. This helps us reach more people and grow our community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.